So today we're going to do a lab on titrations. And the problem here is to figure out what the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So here are some of the materials that we're going to need. We're going to need 125 milliliters Erlenmeyer flask, okay. a couple beakers, one labeled acid and one labeled the other base. All right, you're also going to look need a burette. Okay, so let's take a look at the burette. It's this very big, long tube, and we're going to put it with the clamp. Okay, so that's the clamp stand. We're going to need a 10 milliliter micro pipette. That's the pipette right there. That will give us the precise measurement of 10 milliliters of the substance that we're going to use. And of course, we're going to need a pipette bulb to assist us with the work. As well, we're going to have something called phenolphthalein, which is an indicator that will give us the color change so that we can know if the base has been neutralized. First, what you're going to do is you're going to take your two beakers, one labeled acid, one labeled base, and you're going to obtain 30 milliliters of each solution. Okay, because you are dealing with acid and bases and chemicals, you need to be very careful in terms of when you're pouring it into the beaker. Okay. So what you want to do as well is if we take a look very closely at the burette, there's the open position and the closed position. All right, so once you've made sure that your burette is in a closed position, what you want to do is to start filling it up with a small amount of standardized 0.10 moles per liter sodium hydroxide solution. And of course, you can always adjust the height of the clamp stand. Pour in just a very little amount. Again, make sure your burette is closed. Take the funnel out, and you're going to swivel the burette for a little bit. So kind of rinsing it here and there. All right, and you can actually just dump it down and drain it into the sink. Okay. So again, you would want to refill your burette with sodium hydroxide. Remember again to use the funnel. And there isn't a need to fill it up to the zero mark. Right, you can just fill it up three quarters full. Again, make sure your burette is at a closed position. So of course, it's very important to record and read and record the initial volume of the solution. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a paper towel, and you're going to put it behind the burette. So remember, you're trying to read from the bottom of the meniscus. Okay, let's take a look at here. It's around 8.9. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the 10 milliliter pipette, and you're going to use a pipette bulb to assist you. You're going to transfer a small amount of hydrochloric acid to the Erlenmeyer flask. Okay. What you want to do is, again, you want to prevent any cross-contamination. So you're going to swirl it a little bit, and you're going to drain it into the sink. So in the micropipettes, when it says 10 milliliters, there's actually a little brown line indicating that's where the 10 milliliters is. So you're going to squeeze the pipette bulb really tightly. You're going to get as much air and you're going to put it on top of the pipette. So make sure it's sealed. What you're going to do is you're going to try to suck it up. And if you can't do it once, you can sp sp split it up, do it twice. Remember, you must be at eye level with 
the pipette in order to get accurate measurements, meaning the bottom of the meniscus has to touch the brown line. So once you've got the solution ready, you can go ahead and pour it into the Erlenmeyer flask. Excellent. So now that we've got the acid prepared, what we're going to do, we're going to take our phenolphthalein and we're going to add two and two or three drops into the Erlenmeyer flask. Excellent. We're going to swirl it a little bit just to mix it up so that it's evenly distributed. And we're going to carefully place the flask right underneath the burette with the tip just below the flask. So what we're going to do is we're going to titrate until the solution is permanently light pink. All right, so this is going to happen when you add the base into the acid. So remember, when we're adding base into the acid, this is neutralization. And the point of using an indicator is so that we can see that the pH is changing. This is what we call the neutralization. So you can tell this is a very dark pink color. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and we're going to take our final burette reading. Okay, so it's around, give or take, 16.45. and we're going to calculate the volume of NaOH used by subtracting the two. We can just use 16.45 in our initial burette recording for trial two. Okay, so compared to the other one, we can definitely see the difference between the two. So let's take a look at our burette measurement. So make sure you're at eye level when you're reading this. It's 23.2. All right, you can see that it's already at a very light pink color. And all we have to do is take the measurement of our burette. 29.9. Beautiful. So all you have to do is you're going to use this. And of course, because we overshot this one, we're not going to use that as a trial. You're going to calculate the average volume of sodium hydroxide used, and you're ready to calculate for the concentration of hydrochloric acid, which is the problem of this lab.